Well, everybody knows that Navy Fed Platinum Credit Card is a great credit card. So the question is, how do you seriously apply and get approved if you have a FICO score of 580? So this is the topic I want to cover in today's conversation. Stick around till the end. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Story Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you had to ask me. If you are doing it as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. In today's conversation, I want to talk to you about the Navy Fed Platinum Credit Card, how to seriously apply and get approved even if you have a FICO score minimum of 580. The first thing you need to understand is that you need to check your FICO, okay? The Navy Fed uh, Platinum Credit Card is issued on either the Visa or the MasterCard network and it carries no annual fee. It's a great credit card. It carries no balance transfer fee. But if you want to get in, you first need to get to know your FICO. Now, you might be telling me, I know my FICO already, but when was the last time you checked your FICO? Because a lot of people walk around, they think they know their FICO, but they have no idea whether or not their FICO is misreported, is uh, underestimated or overestimated. So today I want you to make note of the fact that you can go on, you can go to TransUnion Okay, go to transunion.com and you can check your FICO score for free. You do the same thing with Experian and the same thing with Equifax, okay? So you have, according to Congress, there's a law that says that every year you are entitled to one free copy of your credit score and, and a report. So you can check your credit score with the, all three credit bureaus, TransUnion, Experian, and Equifax. This is important. Don't take it lightly, okay? So you just want to make it very, very clear. And this, this happens once a year. But if you want to uh, constantly, continually monitor your credit score, you can do so through services such as Credit Karma, Nerd Wallet, Credit Wise, and Wallet Hub. Okay, they all will uh, help you out. You can check your credit for, for for free, once a month, once every two weeks, and they won't charge you. Okay, and if you want to learn more about this, we actually uh, issued, uh, we actually released two videos about the subject. This is a Credit Karma versus Credit Systemy versus Nerd Wallet versus Wallet Hub and Credit Wise. That's the first video you can see on the screen. If you are interested, go read it. Go watch it right there. <laughs> and then you have uh, the second video, Credit Karma versus Experience. So we were looking for the pros and cons of each service, okay? And it's important when you look at your credit report, please check mistakes, potential mistakes in terms of biography, geography. In other words, you actually left, uh, uh, you have the wrong address on your on your file. You want to look for mistakes in terms of uh, employment and mistakes in terms of your payment history. Okay, do you have accounts that are still open even though they have closed them? So this is really important. And also look for sign of identity theft, okay? If you have been a victim of identity theft, somebody opened a loan or a credit card in your name, you want to really look at look you want to fix it as soon as possible. Let me let me kind of familiarize you with the card. So our goal today is basically to seriously apply and get approved for this uh, this card with a minimum of 580. So here, is, here are the card details. This is a beautiful card. L look at this, so beautiful. So here are the pros and cons of this card. The card carries no annual fee, no balance transfer fee, no foreign transaction fee, and low ongoing interest rates. Wonderful. What about the drawbacks? No promotional interest rate on purchases, no rewards program. There are longer promotional APR periods available elsewhere. But the good thing is that when you think about this card, you have a an APR that goes from 5.99% uh, to 18% variable. The card itself does not earn rewards, okay? Just remember that. And you have to have an FCU membership. This is a credit union, so you gotta have membership to qualify for for card holdership, okay? But this is uh, this is not a problem because you don't have to be affiliated with to the military to, uh, you, to qualify for membership, okay? And you have a zero liability policy for unauthorized transactions. This is really good. We love the fact that you have 24 seven access to superior customer service, and you actually can gain free access to your FICO score. So this is really good because Navy Fed is allowing you, once you have this card, is allowing you to monitor your credit on an ongoing basis. If you use your card responsibly, they will, they will uh, raise your limits every six months, every three to six months. And one thing we love is that you're able to, um, to pile perks such as co collision damage, waiver coverage, extended warranty coverage, travel and emergency assistance, and cell phone protection. Really, really good. And one thing I want to say before moving on here is that 
please make sure that you have your, your paperwork ready because you can apply for it. You can apply for this card at a branch. You can do so online or you can do so over the phone. But our preference, and I will speak about this later on, our preference is for you to go to the branch where you want to have your paperwork ready. I'm speaking about your tax returns, your financial statements, your pay stuff, your W-2s, your, your 1099s, all that kind of stuff. They are important. And uh, you can also co-apply for this credit card. So not a problem. If you want your partner, your, your spouse to co-apply with you, you can certainly do so. Make sure that she or he also has the same uh, the same uh, paperwork in terms of uh, employment, in terms of uh, in terms of uh, W-2s, 1099s, and all that kind of stuff. Let me talk to you about eligibility. Are you still there? So we are still having a convo about this card, and, and the goal is to learn how to get the card even if you have a FICO score as low as 580 okay eligibility so first of all you got to have a credit union membership this it is just uh this makes sense right this is a credit union again you need to have a membership you got to make at least eighteen thousand dollars per year gross income so that's about fifteen hundred dollars a month that's gross income that's the minimum that's the bare minimum now when you have this don't expect to have a, a higher credit limits right because your credit limits should be in sync, should be in harmony with your, your with your income level. So the more you make and the, and the more financially responsible you are, the higher your credit limits. You got to have a verifiable income. What I'm trying to say here is you can be full time, part time. You can be a seasonal worker. It doesn't matter. You can be a, it doesn't matter. You need to be able to verify the income. So Navy Fed in some cases will want to call your employer or have a letter of employment verification from the employer that shows that you are indeed working there, okay? And uh, if you're paid, you can have direct deposit, you can be paid in cash, it doesn't matter, but they just need to verify the source of funds. And as you can see on the screen, you can pre-qualify for this card with no impact to your credit, okay? But you've gotta be a member first, okay? And also the card accepts average to excellent credit, as you can see on screen. So the FICO or Vantage score requirement is goes from 580 to 850 okay in terms of eligibility and in terms of uh, eligibility also you need to, you need to have proof of employment so i said this before so w2s 1099 pay stubs and in some cases your tax returns your 1040 for the last three years those will, will qualify as uh, acceptable documents to verify your employment okay and the maximum limit on this credit card is twenty five thousand dollars Although we have several clients who have gotten more than $75,000 in credit limits, but they all are customers of the Wealth Management Group and Navy Fed. Okay, so I guess the credit limit has to do besides your credit score with the size of your monetary assets at, uh, at Navy Fed and other institutions. So they look at a constellation of factors to, to set your credit limits. And, and this is not just uh, about your, uh, your credit score, but the higher your score and the more stable you are financially speaking, the higher your credit limit and that makes sense let me quickly talk to you about uh, your finances if you want to qualify for this credit card if you have a low FICO and your goal is to qualify for this credit card you want to pay attention to your finances and there are two quintessential elements that you have to pay attention to when we talk about your finances okay the first one is your DTI your debt to income ratio this is very simple this is a fraction okay so uh, on top you have uh, your uh, the amount of money you allocate to debt servicing and at the bottom and then in the denominator you have your income so for example let's say you make uh, ten thousand dollars a month right and out of that, that ten thousand dollars you take four thousand and you allocate that to debt servicing to your different liabilities what will happen is your DTI will be forty percent you take four thousand divided by ten thousand that's zero point four times times one hundred that's forty percent now, 40% experts will tell you it's not really, really healthy. You want to aim for 30% or 35%, but 30% is a sweet spot. So the lower your your lower your DTI, the better. And you want to have that before you apply for this Navy Fed Platinum credit card because Navy Fed is going to do their, they have their own algorithm. They have their own internal calculation. So they will actually go into your, into your file to, to make sure that you have a DTI that is reasonable. That falls within the, the range that is acceptable to the credit union very important so DTI 30% 35% and when we talk about the income here it's this is gross income okay gross income pre-tax income so the first criterion to pay attention to is DTI 
The second criterion, the second criterion is your credit utilization ratio, what we call the CUR. Okay, this is important also, and this applies to your revolving lines of credit, your revolving lines of credit, your revolving, uh, yeah, credit cards included. Okay, so do you also want to aim for thirty percent to thirty-five percent? So the bottom line is when we talk about DTI and CUR, you want to aim for one third. So if, for instance, you have uh, on all your credit cards, you have a total limit of uh, a total credit limit of ten thousand dollars. You want to have outstanding on those cards a maximum of, a maximum of uh, thirty three hundred or thirty five hundred. So that's about thirty three percent or thirty five percent. That will make you look, I would say, acceptable as a, a risk profile to Navy Fed. This is important. Okay. You also so this is really good. And this will help you get the credit card you need. Credit card, credit card, credit card. This is why we're here. This is why we. I want to give you the tools that you need to be unstoppable when you apply for credit cards, including the Navy Fed Platinum credit card, okay? And you also want to have, uh, they might want to look into your bank statements as well as your financial statements. Let me talk to you about timing. One thing that's very important is that if you want to get the Navy Fed Platinum credit card and you want you have a low FICO, you got to be very careful about timing. First of all, I'll, let me ask you a question. What is the number of NFCU credit cards you currently have? Do you have two, three? Because NFCU has a, they have an unwritten and unpublished rule that says that they want to limit their credit cards to three per individual. Okay, so if you currently have a three credit cards, then you really want to. Uh, use those cards responsibly and get a credit limit increase instead of applying for a new credit card okay so what is what was the timing of your last increase when was the last time you were actually they actually bumped up your credit limits this is important because you got to wait at least what three to six months before applying for a new credit card or applying for a new limit in credit limit increase so you got to be patient you got to space out your uh, your request because all of those uh, requests are credit request and in some cases they might result in a hard pull and we don't want that right the whole thing is you are trying to make sure that your your FICO your skinny FICO becomes as fat as possible okay this is important and uh, do you have other liabilities accounts with the Navy Fed this is something you need to pay attention to do you have other accounts because Navy Fed is looking at you as a as a as a, as an element of exposure in other words the more debt you carry the the less the more scared they are because something happens to you they're going to lose a lot of cash so if they already have uh, auto loans with you they, they have uh, student loans with you they have uh, personal loans with you and now you are trying to apply for a credit card think about it that's a lot of that's a lot of debt concentrated on one person in, in, on one person okay so you want to think about the, the other liabilities you have because it's all about money 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 it's all about money 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 in other words if you have a lot of if you have a lot of debts right but you can you have uh, your cash inflows are, are good you have a very vibrant balance sheet you don't have a lethargic statement or cash flow that you can actually get uh, get the credit card that you need because you can actually apply when you have a better financial status let's say you had you got a raise at work you got promoted you got a new job altogether or you you've seen an increase in your FICO those could be elements that could that could motivate you to apply for the, this Navy Fed Platinum credit card even if you have a, a low FICO because your financial situation your cash position would have been stronger by the time you apply and that will help Navy Fed look at you as a healthy risk as a positive risk I'll be right back right after this don't go anywhere Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. We're actually having a conversation today about the Navy Fed Platinum Credit Card, and I'm giving you some tips and tricks on how to how to apply for this card, even if you have a FICO score of 580. Okay, now let me give you a few pro tips. I, I really want to I want to give you a few pro tips here. The first thing you need to do is you want to keep your documents in order, whether you applied at a branch or you applied over the phone or you applied uh, online. You want to have some documents ready, your W2s. Your 1040s for the last three years, okay. Your financial statements, your 1099s, your bank statements. You want to keep those in order. You can keep them on the cloud. You can keep you can keep them on a USB key drive. You can keep them uh, 
manually, physically in the house, in a closet, whatever. Okay, but the goal is you, you gotta you gotta have some kind of a basic bookkeeping process in place so that when Navy Fed ask you if they request from you to so provide all the all the data, you can just uh, send it to them. Okay, and you also want to maintain good credit, even if you currently have 580 or 590 or 600, doesn't matter. You still have to be financially responsible. You want to uh, stick to certain financially healthy routines that will help you bump up over time your credit score. It's really important. So you want to constantly check your credit score. So your credit score. You want to make sure that you are staying within the 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 healthy band in terms of 35% for the DTI and 30% for the CUR. Very important. You want to demonstrate sufficient cash flow. It's all about at the end of the day. For lenders, I mean, lenders care about your 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 employment. They care about the nice stories you have. You know, I have 20 years experience. I do this. I got to raise whatever. But what they care about mostly is to be repaid. They are advancing money to you, and their their job is to get the cash back. Whether the the cash was advanced to you on a credit card or was advanced to you on a, on a personal loan. So the goal here is to make sure that you can demonstrate sufficient cash flow, cash inflow, folks. You want you want to follow the money. Follow the money. OK, at the end of the day, that's what that's what really matters. You know, they care about everything else, your credit score, all that. But they just want to be repaid. And you need to make sure that you make enough money to repay whatever limits, whatever uh, outstanding balance you have in your credit card. So please demonstrate that. OK. And you also need to ask yourself whether or not you can afford the monthly payments or the minimum amounts due for or, I mean, every month. OK. I mean, Navy Fed with this Navy Fed Platinum credit card, the uh, the minimum balance due is very small, but nobody will tell you, nobody healthy enough mentally, that is, will tell you to only pay the minimum balance because that's going to uh, derail your financial uh, your financial stability. You want to pay more and the best is to pay everything, to pay the balance in full if you can. Before we close to this conversation, I just wanted to quickly uh give you some comparison between this card and uh, and, and two other cards that are similar and uh, because when we speak about the Navy Fed Platinum credit card people talk a lot about the City Double Cash card and we just thought we, we, would, be, we would be doing a small uh, very quick comparison here so if you're looking for a balance transfer credit card that has staying power long after a balance transfer is uh, over you look for you want to look to a card like the City Double Cash card because this card earns 2% cash back on all purchases 1% when purchases are made and another 1% when they are paid off. Okay, so think about it. If that works for you, then go ahead and do it. The card has an annual fee of $0 and comes with an intro APR of 0% for 18 months. Think about it. And after that, the standard variable APR will be 13%, 13.99 to 23.99% based on your credit worthiness. There is an, also an intro balance transfer fee of either $5 or 3% of the amount of each transfer, whichever is greater. OK, so you got to complete this balance transfer within the first four months of account opening. This is really important. OK, and, and uh, so if your credit is strong, you may be you may be approved for a, a higher limit. Let's talk about the Navy Fed versus the U.S. Bank Visa Platinum card. So if you're looking for a longer runway to pay off a big purchase or shed existing debt, the U.S. Bank Visa Platinum card could be a top notch choice. We have actually a review of this card on another show. And so this no annual fee card has one of the strongest and longest transfer offers you will find. Check this out. You have 0% intro APR on purchases and balance transfers for, guess what, 20 billion cycles. That's just wonderful. 20 billion cycles. Okay. And this was followed by a regular variable APR of 14%, 14.99% 14 to 24.9, 14.49% to 24.49%. So this is really good. So and and this is really, really good. So if you are in the market for a, a balance transfer card, this is really nice. So big decision time, big decision time. Talk to me right now. Talk to me. Is the card for you? Is the Navy Fed Platinum card for you? Well, this card could be a worthy option for anyone with average credit on the hunt for a balance transfer card. But if your overall credit profile is strong, you want to look to a card that offers a longer introductory period or one that you will want to use long after the promo APR offer expires. And this is not the case for the Navy Fed Platinum credit card. Thank you so much for your attention, folks. I was talking to you today about how to actually get approved for the Navy Fed Platinum credit card. And uh, if you have a FICO of a 580 
and first I explained to you that you need to check your FICO to make sure it is accurate. You need to understand the car details. You need to check eligibility, your, fin your financial situation, the timing. And I give you a few pro tips and I just compared this card with other credit cards. Thank you so much for your attention, folks. I will speak to you another time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.